Hey, what's good, guys? Here by Phone Tech of Real on our video. In this one, guys, we're going to be comparing iPhone 6s on iOS 13.2.3 to an iPhone 7 on iOS 13.2.3 as well, as requested by you guys in the comments. Um, in case you want other videos, just don't forget to comment down below. And I'm going to try to do my best to do the videos. And as always, guys, stay tuned. So, guys, we're going to work with devices here iPhone 7 on the left, iPhone 6s on the right. So, guys, as you can see, that's an iPhone 6s. And that's an iPhone 7 matte black finish. I really love this color on the iPhone 7. So um, both phones are running iOS 13.2.3. I, I, the A9 chip was actually faster than the A10. So it's the thing I always notice that iPhone 6 is the fastest device when it comes to booting up. I mean, A9 chip, even this is really fast. So guys, both phones here have nothing in the background and they're both set to same brightness and dark mode, as you can see just gonna turn the night shift off okay fair enough right now and you can just turn Bluetooth on here to make it fair though this phone the iPhone 7 has a higher wear level this phone is all okay they're almost the same but this phone has five percent better battery capacity so you're gonna start to set that test here with a phone dialer it was identical actually gonna go for Safari and that was actually identical here good stuff gonna go for the calendar about the same iPhone 7 was millisecond so faster with the weather app. I would say identical actually. Really impressive. Both phones, iTunes Store. And both are taking some time and almost neck and neck actually. Impressive here. Going for settings. Okay, iPhone 7 was slightly faster there. Gonna go for clock. Uh, I mean, guys, there's no difference to feel. Gonna go for maps. Okay, I mean, the iPhone 7 is a millisecond or so faster always, that's like, you won't really feel it at all. Though it has a better battery, just gonna go for third-party apps now, gonna start with Instagram. And that was a millisecond or so faster on the iPhone 7, though that was minimal difference, to be honest. Snapchat, iPhone 6s was even faster, I guess. YouTube, and that uh, goes to I think the iPhone 6s actually. Google Earth. Geekbench 5, identical, same RAM. Okay, as you can see, processor here is better. And same OS 13.2.3. Going for going for PUBG Mobile. Because as you can see, definitely iPhone 7 was faster. So I just skipped through. I just added myself and friends here. Gonna go for a match from both devices. Can just hit on. Can invite my own self here. Don't really need that. Okay, I'm gonna hit start and see the loading differences here between the iPhone 7 and the iPhone 6s and PUBG. I mean, as far as you can see, they're almost the same here loading. Okay, as you can see, definitely iPhone 7 was faster, though the difference was minimal, to be honest. You're just introducing this mode. So though with the iPhone 7, you can go for higher graphics. I mean, as you can see here, you can go for realistic, for example, and go click OK. Then the game would be really nice. The graphics here are some stutter there, but the game is really, really smooth. And then the graphics are perfect. On the iPhone 6s, however, they're not as good. I'm gonna hit HD and realistic. Let's try. So as you can see, guys, the graphics aren't as good, but it's definitely playable. Decent actually. Let's just compare it here. Yeah, I mean, I definitely feel some difference. Of course, iPhone 7 has better graphics, but the game is cool on both devices. I want to say, guys, that this phone really dropped a lot of battery, even though it has better battery than this phone. I'm just going to show you the batteries here. 
The batteries here are just terrible, but they're almost the same, so it makes it fair. So as you can see, guys, this one is at 81%, this is 86%, so I really have to replace the batteries. Um, but as you can see, so this one has a higher wear level, the iPhone 7, but still lost way less. That's because of the two low power cores on it. So that's thanks to being quad core device here. It has better battery, plus a better battery, ba bigger battery anyways. Can I guys now go for some RAM management? So settings, since I opened it recently, PUBG. You can just hit jump for fun. Going for Geekbench 5, Google Earth. They're both doing good. YouTube. Snapchat, Instagram, both are solid. Maps, not, not a single refresh. Clock, perfect. iTunes, weather, weather app, calendar, Safari, not a single refresh, guys. S phone dialer, one more time PUBG to see. Yep, both phones are really good. Amazing performance, really. I'm gonna show you the C difference here. So both phones were solid in RAM management as well. As you can see, the phone, this phone still loses way more battery than this phone. So iPhone 7 definitely has a better battery still. So guys, now I'm gonna go for a Geekbench 5 test. So both phones are done here. So the difference was like 30 seconds or 25. This phone finished after. As you can see, single core is almost the same. Multi-core is higher on the iPhone 7. It makes sense, but the difference isn't that high, to be honest. So as you can see, guys, here's are the scores. So the difference well, isn't there. Yeah, but that was a comparison. I'll see, guys, both phones were super great. Com comparable speeds, almost the same. Just graphics and PUBG were better on iPhone 7. And... Uh, Battery, of course, was better on the iPhone 7. So that's the thing. iPhone 7 has a better battery and better GPU. Otherwise, the, the phones are exactly the same. Camera is better, of course, on the 7 as well. So it's your camera, um, better battery, and better graphics. So pretty much like going from the iPhone XS Max for XS to 11 Pro, 11 Pro Max. So if you guys like the video, subscribe for more content. And peace out.